pulled over in a traffic stop and beaten by the side of the road, placed in a banned chokehold by a New York City police officer, violently taken into police custody, never to come out alive, shot first, questions asked later. The stories and images that immediately leap to mind in connection with these scenes are those of black men, Rodney King, Eric Garner, Freddie Gray, Philando Castile. But these are also the stories of black women, women like Sandra Antor, Roseanne Miller, Alicia Thomas, Maya Hall. How would centering these women's stories change the conversation? That's the question that Invisible No More begins to answer. Beyond raising awareness of women's stories, Invisible No More aims to change the way people think about racial profiling, police violence, and mass incarceration. To see physical and sexual violence against women by law enforcement, from colonial armies to slave patrols to border patrols, from 1492 to the present, as part of the very fabric of U.S. history. To ask ourselves how a ramped up war on drugs, assaults on indigenous sovereignty, intensified immigration enforcement, or a Muslim ban will impact women of color, and how these realities must shape our resistance. Invisible No More also pushes us to incorporate sexual violence by police, giving birth and mothering while black, walking while trans, and police violence in the context of responses to calls for help. It invites us to look at policing from multiple angles. Invisible No More is not only a book about the problem, it's a book about resistance to police violence against women of color, which has taken place over decades, centuries, largely in the shadow of broader movements for racial justice. Because women of color have been saying these names, telling these stories, demanding justice, and calling on all of us to radically rethink our visions of safety and the ways we go about achieving it. Invisible No More is an invitation to join us.